Hey, welcome to Tarmac. Today I've got uh, our new uh, new contributor on board, Matthew. He's going to be riding along inside the whole new BMW X5. We're in the 30D with uh, M Sport package, which I'll show you around in a moment. We're going to get two views on the car, my driving view and also what it's like to be a passenger. So come along for the ride. Let's see how we get on here. The BMW X5 was first launched at the turn of the century and has now gone on to be BMW's biggest seller. Branded as an SAV, so a sports activity vehicle, due to its capabilities, this fourth generation is now bigger and bolder than ever. At just under 5 metres long and just over 2 metres wide, with strong design features and huge increase in intelligence, this is a big leap forward. Behind the massive one-piece kidney grille is a 3.0-litre, six-cylinder, twin-power turbo diesel. 190 kilowatts of power, 620 newton meters of torque, and 0 to 100 in 6.5 seconds. The tailgate's really cool. Kick open. Up comes the top. But also, if you need more access, Look at that. Enough room in the boot for groceries and your son. So the instrument cluster, as you can see, is completely digital. It's very interactive, very easy to read, and uh, that goes basically day and night. Infotainment screen, massive and uh, completely touch sensitive to all the management system on the console is very very cool too this epic crystal glass gear stick push button start is in the center console see for a diesel it doesn't sound anything like one and from a drivable point of view, it doesn't feel like a big, hefty uh, SUV. It's got nice turn, nice, nice strong grip to the to the floor. Just feels feel that power just picking up. The the torque is quite quite down low, and just brings it right round solidly. See, that's quite a strong, tight turn get round with a, a vehicle of this size so sports mode it is of course but uh, the suspension strong the, the feel is, is, is good as always I'm more interested in how the car makes you feel rather than anything else and I have to say that this X5 really makes you feel good it's a big car there's no mistaking about that. I mean, it is, I think it's actually bigger than the previous model by a, quite a fair amount, but it doesn't feel massive. I, I, I'm actually very comfortable in it. Clicking adaptive cruise control is actually quite easy. One button here by your thumb, and then set your tire, uh, your uh, speed. So obviously it's keeping its distance between the car in front and uh, where I am, which is cool. It's assisting me by uh, with my corner turning, because obviously I need it. It will let me know when it's decided that I don't have my hands on the steering wheel. You'll see something popping up there. And then it flashes here on the steering wheel. So it needs some weight back to let me know that I am still here and still doing what I should be doing. So 
way easier to live with in that sense. Just as a passenger sitting in this cabin, I mean, everywhere you touch, you've got soft leather, soft plastics, even down at the cup holders where you'd expect to be, you know, scratchy plastics and things. No compromise in quality at all. Speaking of uh, cup holders, in the center console here, you can actually heat or cool your drinks with a, the flick of a button. So I don't think it's going to cook a cup of tea, but it will certainly uh, keep your espresso that little bit warmer, which is, yeah, very cool. Or hot, as the case may be. Or if you want to keep your beers chilled in the summer. We can't drive go. beers. But you cannot. <laughs> Remember, don't drink and drive, people. Yeah, great. The big thing to talk about is the communication system and the uh, BMW... Oh. Hello, what can I help you with? There you go. Very, very interactive. Does want to... wants to help out, wants to see what you're up to. We'll pose you some questions Please in a minute. Please repeat your input or say help. Shush. Cancel. This function is currently not available. <laughs> the shush <laughs> function is a... If only I could do that with the wife. What can um, I help you with? I'm bored. I can't imagine that. Maybe you haven't yet had the chance to try sport mode. And it's pretty funny because it doesn't affect the sport mode, but it will change all the screen to uh, talk, newton meters, uh, kilowatts, and also uh, your G, G, um, G force. So yeah, it's really, really quite a sense of humour. When's my next service? There are no service requirements. So what's popped up is engine oil, vehicle check, brake fluid. I'm cold. Which temperature shall I set? Uh, 17 degrees. I set the temperature in the driver's area on 17 degrees Celsius. Now that's really cool, but also what's even cooler is if Matthew asks for his. A B M W. Hello. What can I help you with? Set the temperature to uh, 24 degrees, please. I set the temperature in the front seat passenger's area on 24 degrees Celsius. Oh. See, it, it picks up who's sitting where and what the uh, what the temperatures are after for those particular areas, which is cool, right? I think the thing to notice is this is the, the, the prequel to the new system that's coming out that's going to be in the BMW 3 Series. It's going to be totally interactive. I think it uses Alexa, if I'm not mistaken, but moving into that same sort of ask it any question you like. Which... The uh, camera is 360 for reversing and parking. So even though it's a big, big uh, vehicle, it'll it's quite easy to make sure that you can park it even in the tight fitting mall and supermarket uh, uh, parking spots. <laughs> I've had fun with this vehicle. It, it dances around nicely on the tarmac. You know it's going to do well uh, with the uh, X Drive off road or certainly on loose, uh, loose gravel. You can see why the BMW X5 has been such a big seller for, for BMW. I mean, it's a, one of the original luxurious SUVs. It's spacious, it's comfortable to drive. It's <clears throat> very, very intuitive as far as uh, what, your, what your driving needs are. And this X5, the new, the latest one is just that enhanced in so many ways. The intelligence system through the infotainment, uh, I'm, I struggle to say hey, BMW because it always interrupts and asks me things, but it's great. It's, uh, it takes some of the guesswork out of how to cancel your uh, navigation system, where to find things, how to adjust your temperature. I mean, putting the seat, your electric seat on is not exactly a hard thing to do or a one push button but sometimes in this plethora that's buttons and stuff like that in front of you it's easy just to ask the system to do it above all it's about the driving experience and 
you know, these big buses don't need to be lolloping around and cumbersome. They should still be driver's vehicles. They're the new family car, apparently. So, <laughs> this one will take plenty of families. So there you have it. BMW's number one selling vehicle, which just so happens to be an SUV, has become more sporty, more user-friendly, more adaptable, a better drive, more comfortable, actually just completely more. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. There's plenty more coming to this wave real soon. Uh, thanks very much. See you next time.